Michaela, thank you. Four candidates are battling over the 22nd congressional district seat currently held by Hanford Republican David Valadeo. 17's Jenny Huss spoke one on one with the incumbent about his reelection bid. She joins us in studio now with more. Jenny? The five-time congressman says his top priorities remain the same. He's facing a former opponent, one who lost just by a three-point margin. I've lived my entire life on a farm, very much active in the farming community. I understand how those issues work and how they impact the, the workers, the businesses, and how that uh, brings those resources back. That's Congressman David Valadeo's pitch on why he should continue representing the 22nd Congressional District. He's on his fifth term in Congress and has served one term in the State Assembly. Uh, even though we've had some success on water uh, in legislation in the past, we need to do more. Uh, we're always struggling on that front here in the Valley, and so water is one of the first and foremost. Border security and quicker processing of migrants, he says, also tops his list of unfinished business. Uh, if it means building barriers where they make sense, absolutely. If it means buying technology like autonomous cameras where that makes sense, do that. Where it means hiring more border patrol agents, we need to do that. The Republican holds one of the most competitive congressional seats in the nation and it's majority Democratic and Latino. Valadeo will face a familiar opponent, former State Assemblyman Rudy Salas, who emerged victorious in the 2022 primary but lost to Valadeo in the general. How tough would re-election be? Again, how does this kind of change your campaigning or change your future without Speaker McCarthy in the House? Well, McCarthy's not in the House, but he's still in my corner, and I still talk to Kevin quite a bit, and he's still a close uh, friend, and, and he's always going to be supportive. Valadea was one of 10 House Republicans who voted in 2021 to impeach former President Donald Trump. Are you concerned you could face retaliation for your vote again? under another Trump administration. I can't sit there and worry about that, those types of... Uh, but are you concerned? Is that concern there? It's, it's not something I spend any time on. If it comes down to another Biden-Trump rematch, is there a possibility you would endorse President Biden over Trump? There is no chance I will support President Biden. That's never going to happen. You can find a longer version of the interview on our website, kget.com. This candidate profile is just one of many with all candidates to help you make an informed vote. Jenny Hupp, 17 News.